Hey y'all, it's been a minute. I'm back. Uh, some new Hoi 4 DLC came out today. Or, not today, a few days ago. Um, I'm gonna be trying to go for one of the achievements that I definitely have not had other saves of that I've been losing my marbles trying to get. So, uh, yeah, let's just hop right into this, get ready. <laughs> yeah, that, you don't need to worry about those saves. Those don't mean anything. Don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can, uh, get an achievement. Now you might be wondering what achievement I'm going for, and I'll tell you as soon as the game loads. Okay, the game loaded. What achievement will I be going for? I'll be going for the SD is Scandi achievement, obviously. I'm playing as Estonia, kind of self-explanatory. Uh, which means I gotta take out this guy, this guy, and this guy. Pretty easy, if you think about it. Um, it honestly is. Like, if you understand what you're doing, it can, it, 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 it's simple enough. So, yeah. We'll, we'll just hop right into it. Okay, first thing you want to do, rally the nation. Huh. That's a first. Every game I've done before this, which wasn't a lot, I swear, I haven't been doing this a lot. I, I was playing as Poland, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, every, every one I've done, Germany's had a civil war. No, I'm kind of worried that they didn't. But, oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. As soon as the railways are done, I start going fascist. I will say, though, the Estonian tree... The fascist tree and communist tree, at least, make Estonia very, very overpowered. Alright, because, I mean, look at this. Look at this. You get free 24 widths over here. You get four of them. Free 24 widths, fully equipped, okay? You get either A, free tanks, uh, using the Axis focus over here, or you get dockyards... Uh, free planes, free guns, <laughs> civilian and military factories, um, and then this one, if the UK is democratic, and you also get a free military factory here, um, free mills over here, free civs and mills over here, I, it's just like, okay, if March and Estonia was successful, it's time to do another one. You, uh, personally, I find it very good to try and get more of this for the fact that you suffer greatly from uh, only having two mills, so. It's actually better to get concentrated if you think about it. You want, you want to, you're in a place with not a lot of stuff, so. Um, anyways, yeah, like, this tree is, and I mean, the communist tree ain't that bad it also like this you become a puppet but then you get like a lot of free land from the soviets if you become their puppet whereas this it makes it a little harder but you're still like taking over the uh baltic states you know scandinavia it works out very well surprisingly you know i i find it very interesting this one I haven't done yet. I haven't done a base Estonia game. You know, I, I haven't done the original... What they, what they did historically. Um... Because, frankly, that means I would just die. And, you know... That's not fun. Yo, overwhelming! Alright. Uh, one really cool thing also is that it tells you how high of a chance you have of having a civil war. Now, of course, 83 plus 16, uh, doesn't equal 100. <laughs> uh, but, it's close enough. Uh, but that tells you, like, 
um, you have a 16% chance that a civil war will start. So, I mean, that that's, that's pretty cool, you know? I also love how these two focuses just give you seven factories. Or, yeah, seven factories. Jeez. You just got that many factories out of doing absolutely nothing. Like, jeez. And, oh, I still have one more place I can do this. Twenty days. Seventeen days left. Ooh, okay. Well, we have eighty-three percent, and it should be good enough. Whoopsies. Yes, you stand down. Good, good, good. So now what we're gonna do is empower finish mil militants. Militias, no, militants, militants. Oh, if you still do the marches. Okay. I mean, now I'm 87%. That just furthers my majority. I think, what, what do I want to do next? I'm gonna do this, the veterans government. Really doesn't matter what. Like, these you want to end up doing. Because you get, like, arm the nation. Look at that. You get four mills, two mills. And then if you get all the way down here, look at that. You just get so many mills. I... You want to do these. It's not, it's, not, it's not like a, well, no, you want to do those. And you also want to do this, because you get the naval dockyards. Um, and you can make Boat, which I'm telling you, when you make Boat, it's pretty epic. Speaking of which, I'm going to start doing that. Because uh, if, you, you, you know, the end game strat, right, is you're going to come down here. And what I did on my last game that I did very well on, um, you had naval invade here, the south, and you kind of just advance up north. You know, it works out pretty well. Actually, very well. Uh, so much so that uh, I'm going to try and do it again. Oh. No! Oh, no! Please let me send volunteers. Okay, I, need, I just need to make sure that they hold on. Uh... And just like that, we need to restart... We are back, baby. Woo! Not new, but like, kind of spooky. We're going to play a game called Name That Siberian Nation. Okay, what is this? That is right. It is the Yamalian Republic. All right. Now let's name another one. What is this? Okay, that's the same country. What is this? That's right, it's Timaria. A chaotic march. What the hell is going on here, man? Alright, now I have to rush B them because they're going to be joining the Soviets. Oh, God. As soon as I do this, I'll do in power finish militants. This is not the way I would wa have wanted to do this. Usually, you know. I'll take my time, build up a bit, get some more mills, uh, get Finland on my side. That's what I did before this, and it worked really well, but because they're turning communists, I, I, I have to go for it. You know, I I can't wait, you know? They're, they're going to... They're doing Restored Soviet Republic, which is this one. So I, I have to just, you know... There is no waiting, you know? The time is now. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, I can't do with the Baltic Shield. I have to...
Hmm. Could I survive with only this? Could I? Could I see Swedish assets with only this? Or they only have like two? They only have two divisions. Whoa! Jeez, they are huge. What did they do? Okay. So if I went in on them now, they join. Let's see what happens when I do this. This was honestly a worst case scenario. I mean, it's already pretty hard to do without a historical on... Um, and every game I had done before this, these guys stayed neutral. But God, I didn't expect this to happen. Ah, oh. I, I feel like it's you know all or nothing, right? You you kind of need these guys to be able to have the industry to attack Sweden and not really Denmark, but Sweden, and Norway. You need something to give you the umph to fight, you know. Potential, I'm not going to have an enemy. We need, like, aggressive. No, I'm not going to join the Marco Polo. Oh, no. I'm not going to war with China. No. No. If I win this, it'll be on my own accord. They will create a faction with me. But we can't because they need world attention to be it. You know, I'm surprised at the actions of some people sometimes. You can advance to, like, Leningrad. That would be pretty funny. Based. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Railway, railway, railway. Rail, rail. I don't care. You guys are railway, railway over, like, right now, bro. Want you guys to try and advance as far as you can into this territory. Uh huh. Impossible, I know, but I mean, we're gonna make the impossible possible, baby. Yeah, you want fleet? Yeah, go for it. You still don't have enough divisions to put on our border. Still don't like like they're not putting divisions on our border mostly. This is okay. You know I think I might do a uh, oh oh the glory of war. I don't know about that one, buddy. And after this, I'm gonna be surprised at the fact that you know. They called Mongolia in as our enemy. Uh, you shouldn't have done that, Soviets. Soviets. You shouldn't have done that, Soviets. Soviets. Uh, you have like no divisions. If we could take Moscow, it's 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 it's, it's all you know falling apart for them. You know. They really don't care about the fact that you know we're what, Lithuania. Or, sorry, not Lithuania. You know what? I'm going to send this division. Uh, at this point, I'm surprised that I've made it this far. Um, no hacks, guys. No hacks, you know. <laughs> no, but actually, though, like, Jesus. I'm surprised I've made it this far that I am not dead yet. Resistance to occupation. 
that's kind of an inevitable outcome of what I'm doing. I'm not surprised. Um, where the hell are all... Oh, yeah, right. The Soviets are all, like, over here. Losing. They caused Mongolia to die. I want them to know that. And we have the fall of Moscow. Looks like some spaghetti. Whoa! Okay. Okay, Georgia. And with only a few divisions, I have caused great amounts of trolling in Russia. Um, I'm waiting for Ukraine to rebel. That's that's what I need, you know. I need Ukraine to do a little trolling, and then we'll, we'll then we'll be good, you know. There we go. This is going a lot better uh, than I ever expected. Okay, then. I'm taking what is mine. No, 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 no. You better... I'll puppet them. That's the best I can do. No! Nice. Oh, look up to Kurunoka. Nearly Kono Dioni Chikazi to Kurunoka. Chikaz Kanaka, Tame of Buchino Messina. Ho ho. They are Juban Chikazuka.
Hey, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching, uh, hit the funny red button, uh, and the funny thumbs up, or the dislike, I don't know, doesn't matter anymore since YouTube's getting rid of it, uh, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, goodbye.